and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina, founder of Jouer Cosmetics, and today I am going to tell you the five classic handbags. They're the essentials that like just pull everything together. I'm putting out this video today because it is just before Black Friday and I know a lot of stores are going to be doing their Black Friday promotions. This is the best time to buy investment pieces because generally speaking a lot of stores give about 25 percent off sometimes 30 percent off that is a steal when it comes to these handbags they're really hard to come by on sale so if you can scoop up any kind of black friday promotion department stores often do that and you'll be able to find some of these designers there and you might be able to get a good scoopy deal which we love so the first bag that i'm going to encourage you to invest in a classic handbag is your tote bag. So a tote bag is something that's going to get you through airports, traveling, work. You can put your laptop and your files in. Any kind of like shopping if you're out in the city and you need to like go shopping and you don't want to bring a ton of like extra little cloth bags or whatever. One big tote, just throw it all in there. So easy, so convenient. And when you have one that you love that's really good quality, it's going to last you a lifetime. It's literally going to last you a lifetime and that is the goal is that we want to spend our money on pieces that are going to last 20, 30, 40 years. I know that sounds impossible, but really you want to have those pieces that last a long time and that you're not like giving away two or three years from now because they, they got dirty in a weird way or they don't hold up or that's out of style or you're not into that designer anymore. If you're picking really classic designers, then you are going to be investing in good pieces that last a long time. One of the first bags that I invested in was my diaper bag for my son. This is the bag that I invested in. So this is a Louis Vuitton and I just felt like this was a lot nicer to carry around than a traditional diaper bag and I would stick little Ziplocs in here with a change of clothes or with anything for feeding or diapers and all of that stuff. It all just went in here and then since then I've been able to use this for work. I can throw my laptop in here. Right. Two other tote bags that I love. This is a Gucci tote bag. I don't even know if they still sell this anymore, but Gucci doesn't really go out of style. This is the classic design. I love the tan. I think it goes with everything. Even if you're wearing all black, I think this is a fantastic bag. And this is gigantic. I cannot tell you how many trips I've taken with this. And then the most recent tote bag that I bought, I bought at a duty-free airport because I saw Rachel Parcell with this bag and I was like, I think I need this bag because it's pink and I love all things pink. And this is the YSL. This is a blush very simple, plain, clean tote bag, and I love it because I think it really goes with my luggage. I can plop it on top and when I travel. I think this is a great summer bag. The, the color of it is so light and airy and it has this snap. And just a little tip, I always use packing little bubbles, these little guys, inside to keep their shape. So you can set them uh, in your closet and they hold their shape and I love this tote bag, another fantastic investment. The next bag is that second bag. Once you've got your tote, this is the next bag to get. This is the most versatile bag. It goes with so much and it is a classic shoulder bag. Now I chose the Chanel flap bag. This is absolutely a classic. This is the large size. I think it's the large size and it really does hold a lot. I wanted to get a larger one not enormous, but a larger one because I carry around my world in my bag. So inside, I can really put a lot in there. My phone, my chargers, my makeup, like my wallet, like all the extra stuff, it all fits in here. And what I love about this Chanel bag is that it does have this chain so you can wear it on your shoulder, but you can also pull it out and wear it as a crossbody. And to me, that's really convenient and something that I can use whether it's casual or dressy, either way, this bag sort of gets you through. And the reason I chose black is because for the most part, when I'm traveling, I basically pack a black bag, a bag full of black clothes or black bases, black pants, black shoes, and then I can mix it up with a white blouse or a little gray sweater or something like that. But if I keep black as my kind of core item, 
that I'm always wearing, then I will always be able to wear this back. What you need to do is figure out what is it that you're always wearing. If you always wear jewel tones, then it could be really fun to have a bright bag because even if you're not wearing that specific color, they all go together. Um, really think, are you do you wear blush tones? Do you wear whites? What is it you wear? For me, this is a really great travel bag and it's so cool about the tote. When you're traveling and you're only allowed to bring two bags, so I am a carry-on girl, when you only have two bags to carry, you can take this bag, fill it up with your stuff, and put it inside the tote bag, and then that goes on your suitcase, and then you've only got two bags. So you know me, I need to like, need to be smart with what I'm packing. I wanna talk a little bit about the hardware. These bags come with silver tone or gold tone hardware. Be really cognizant about what you're buying. You could get really swept away in a bag of the moment. I understand that, but really try to think about what is the jewelry that you wear. I tend to wear gold jewelry, and I look better in gold tones. So I chose the gold tone hardware because that just works better for me. If you're better in platinum, if you're a really cool toned person and you look great in grays and like I said, jewel tones, generally speaking, the silver tone is going to be better for you. The third handbag that I'm going to talk to you about, this is a handbag. So I find this does come with a strap. This is the Dior. This is the Lady Dior. And the thing about the Dior bags that I really love is this hardware is actually a champagne color. So it goes whether you wear silver tone jewelry or gold tone jewelry and I love this bag because Whereas the shoulder bag can be a little bit bulky. Sometimes it doesn't look as ladylike I like to have a ladylike bag. This does not hold as much But generally speaking I can put my phone a charger my makeup in here and it is all good This has a strap. I love the strap But oftentimes I'll take the strap off and just carry it in my hand and I think this is a really beautiful pulled together different kind of look I I chose white because I do wear a ton of white. I love a white sweater. So even if this is winter, I can wear this with a winter sweater or I can wear it with a white sundress. I've worn this one a ton. I absolutely love it. Once again, I bought this at Duty Free. I'm a Duty Free shopper. I just am. I love that. The next bag is a evening clutch. This is the Bulgari evening clutch. And what I would suggest, always buy an evening clutch in a metallic shade because it doesn't matter what color dress you're wearing. It doesn't matter if it's a bright red or a classic black. It's going to go with everything. If it's white, it doesn't matter. This is sort of a bronzy color. It's a silvery bronze, gunmetal, I guess you would say, and it works really well for me because it does go with everything. It's small, but sometimes evening clutches can be so teeny. That annoys me so much because at the least, at the minimum, I want to stick my phone and a backup charger in there and a lip. I mean, I could add it on, I am telling you. I wanna really quickly tell you about something that Jouer just launched, is hand sanitizing wipes. I'm obsessed with them, I love them so much, and one of the reasons I love them is because they go in small handbags so easily, you can even slip them in your pocket. But for example, if you have a little evening bag, you can throw a couple of these in and they're not gonna take any space at all, whereas a hand sanitizer can take a lot of space and be too bulky and not leave room for lipstick. How can we choose between lipstick and hand sanitizer? We need them both. I've solved that problem. This handbag I want to talk about is your wild card bag. So this really is up to you, but my wild card is the backpack. I bought a Chanel backpack and I just love this so much because if I'm going to be on a vacation where I'm gonna be doing a lot of sightseeing and I'm running around, I am going to throw this on my back and I can put especially when the kids were a little bit younger, they never brought a sweater for themselves. So I always had to pack like an extra scarf or an extra sweater. And the great thing is about this is that you can still bring your tote bag and throw that over your shoulder, but you've got double the space. So for me, a backpack is my wild card. I did spend money on that. It may not be right for your life. I understand that, but something else maybe. So really think about what is the bag that you grab the most that would be super chic in a designer and it could be a waist pack. Yes, I said it, a fanny pack, it could be. It could be something small and delicate. The Prada bag right now is killing it. 
there's any kind of wild card bag is going to round out your collection be that you're going to take for your fifth handbag one of your favorites whether it's the tote or the shoulder bag or the handbag and do it in a different color that's always convenient and fun because if you know that you wear this bag often and it works for you then get a second color because it's an investment piece one thing i wanted to talk about is where to buy these bags because like i said black friday's coming up and you can find some of these bags at department stores some of them you won't be able to find online at all like chanel is just impossible to buy online uh, you can buy Louis Vuitton online. Some places that I always check for handbags, I'm like a scout for them. And in fact, I did buy a Dior bag from a brand called Rebag, the used bag company, but the used bags are in perfect condition. And you can buy the bag and then they'll buy it back from you. The bag is fantastic and the Real Real is also fantastic. They have a ton of promotions going on. Check them for Black Friday. I love the Real Real. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next week. Bye.